So I'm Richard Fox and uh, we've got five acres. Uh, there's quite a steep decline. So the last couple of acres was uh, just virgin bush and then um, it was pretty heavily vegetated before the fires up the front as well. Erosion was definitely an issue. Because the um, the fire was so substantial, it meant that uh, all the like all the low ground cover was was burnt, um, which meant that the water was just running across in streams, um, and therefore we just had to uh, retard it. So we did the retaining walls, and we also mulched um, between the retaining walls just to stop the flow of water. Because initially, when we built the retaining walls, you could then see the water was just flowing through the sleepers. My name's Tim O'Donnell. I work for Nillumbik Shire Council as a land management officer. Erosion is a, a major post-fire issue and it always is it's a natural part of um, a fire, obviously, that the fire comes through and removes virtually all of the vegetation. And with that vegetation gone, the runoff rates are much higher um, and that runoff then takes the topsoil um, and a lot of the soil particles with it. My name is Noli and um, I live here in Hunts Lane in Steels Creek. The creek eroded away so much that the course of the creek has changed vastly. In some parts of the creek I'd noticed that there was four to six feet in width across the creek and now it's up to, it can be up to 20. The whole sides of the creek have just fallen in and smashed and then with that go trees and and all the rest of it. My name's Rob DeBale. I'm the Senior Vegetation Specialist for the North East Region for Melbourne Water. Usually what happens is, is vegetation and geology um, are, are really quite closely related in how they affect waterways in that vegetation can absorb and slowly let water back into systems because those processes became independent after the fire so we had no vegetation to, to buffer water. Most of the catchment was burnt here, I think almost all the catchment above us was burnt so the big issue we had was that this catchment was behaving more like an urban catchment than a rural catchment in that it had so much um, hard surface that as soon as that was hitting the ground it was you know, going straight down hills and into waterways as opposed to having time to absorb and slowly percolate into the system. I'm James Booth, City of Whittlesey, uh, Land Management Recovery Officer. Uh, one of the main concerns was um, battling with erosion because the ground was laid bare, there was no um, twigs or vegetation as there normally would be. So the idea was we put some logs down, it, sort of, it stopped the uh, water flow across the land and it trapped some of the sediment so when the water slowed down the sediments dropped out, built up behind the logs and it also broke the velocity so it couldn't get up that speed and uh, start turning into um, gullies. Okay, this is one of the logs that we had put in place um, while the ground was still bare and what you can see over here is this is all the sediment that's um, been trapped behind it and this is all sediment that otherwise would have um, been lost down the gullies and down into um, the park nearby. Um, if we hadn't put that down the ground would have looked like this um, which is back down to clay and there's a lot of bare areas and as you can see here this has provided a great place for um, seeds to germinate and even though they're weeds they're still providing a bit of cover and holding the ground together so the topsoil will be here whereas otherwise it'll be down the creek and affecting the um, aquatic life down there. One of the issues with erosion is protecting assets and that's what we've really been focusing on. So if there's an asset of great importance, like someone's dam, like a roadway, um, um, there's something that we, we may need to work on pretty quickly. Um, if it's a good quality gully that we don't want to wash out, we might choose that as a, a high asset. But um, there are situations all around this shire where the erosion has increased dramatically after the fires but it's really not causing too much damage it's just that natural process that spread sped up significantly but i think what we need to keep in mind is that erosion is a natural process um, we will never stop erosion um, it's impossible to to stop it and it's a part of the natural ecology um, the rivers are moving all the sediments are moving and it's something that's happened for eons and has always happened after these bushfires mm -hmm.